Deer House in, a, in association with EVS in partnership are showing the, a future technology demonstration about the possibility of using 4K remotely, 4K production from a remote site back to a centralized control system. It's a proof of concept uh, with 4K. It's working here with, uh, through the Divi Vision Mixer. But Gearhouse sees this type of technology as having potential moving forward in 4K or existing in HD at multiple, having multiple cameras on, at remote sites. This allows us to have six cameras remotely. We can do all the shading, all the color control local in a centralized area. You can have full talk back and return video back to uh, the control area. So the potential economic benefits of this are, are boundless. Uh, it, it will have an effect to change the way uh, outside broadcasts in sports, in light entertainment, in very, very different ways in the future. It's going to see a sea change in the outside broadcast marketplace. But coming back to the demonstration, we're connected by fiber to the Atachi stand. We're using their 4K cameras on the stand today. We're also using two 4K cameras on the stand into the Divi vision mixer associated with EVS. The main control and nerve center is the rack we have behind us here. Um, but it's a very simple solution in real terms. So it's EVS, Gearhouse, Hitachi, but equally this could be any other manufacturer because of the open nature of this type of technology, but the Divi system offers huge power in its vision mixing and the fact that it's um, uncom virtually uncompressed, there's no loss, it's loss that's coming down the fiber, means that you have the full picture here locally. From our point of view, it, it, it has potential, but not right now. We, the, the issue still is it's at the cost associated with achieving and getting the bandwidth. That is going to be a challenge for the whole industry and the telecoms industry going forward. Now I recognize that the telcos have had to put significant investment into their infrastructure, but there's a business um, advantage to having more use of your resources at a far better lower price than it is to have very high price and have little or no use of that facility. So if the telco industries come up with a good pricing facility to make this economical for us, their business will increase. So they need to become more aware of the requirements for the broadcast industry and it's about cost. This will not work until the costs come down significantly. So the telecoms need to understand the broadcast industry more. No, I, I don't believe remote, all productions will be remote productions. I still think there's very much a market there for traditional outside broadcast vehicles, but um, I do see that the type and size of these vehicles changing, and this is very much a personal opinion. Um, what type of markets? Um, Take for example, it's it's very much down to where the fibre in, in the UK, for example, most sport major sporting uh, event um, locations have fibre into them, uh, race courses, football grounds. Uh, the, the challenge is to make this worthwhile effectively again at lower second tier sports who tr traditionally don't have that connectivity because the higher level sports, the Champions League, the Premier League, are all. 24 camera, very large, high-end productions that maybe will not lend itself to that that type of in 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 the medium term, in the medium term. So I think it's got a it's got a lot of potential right across into different type of sports, lower-end sports, second-tier sports. So that's where I see it happening.